Thinning the forest won't stop the pine beetle, and it's a waste of money when it comes to mitigating fire danger. That's the finding of a new report by the National Center for Conservation Science and Policy. That scientific report suggests the large swath of dead trees in Colorado will not increase the fire risk. Also says the best way to protect people is to create defensible spaces around homes. Professors at Colorado State University helped author these findings. Other scientists, meanwhile, keep looking for new ways to fight the pine beetle. CBS4's Northern Newsroom reporter Mike Hooker, live in Fort Collins. So, Mike, scientists have a surprising way in their latest effort to fight the beetle. That's right, Jim. To help trees like this become more resistant, to help them fight off the pine beetles, two professors at Colorado State University say they found that a substance called ketosin, which they're getting from, of all things, uh, the shells of shrimp and lobster, can help trees like this be more resistant to the beetles. A bucket full of a new Colorado product may be the way to fight the tiny black pine beetles and their squirming larvae that have been leaving millions of brown dead trees across Colorado. These are shrimp shells. This is uh, the starting material for the ODC. ODC, Organic Disease Control, is a product CSU Professor Emeritus Jim Linden helped create. Professor Linden and his business partners at AgriHouse crushed the shells of shrimp, crab, and lobster, leftovers at fisheries, and then create a concentrated liquid to fight pine beetles. The molecules in, in the shrimp shells, or eventually in this product, actually act like a hormone, uh, or like a vaccine. Apply it around a tree, and the president of AgriHouse says the tree starts producing more of the pitch or resin, which flows from the holes made by burrowing beetles. So when you get more resin uh, going through the tree, what does that mean for the pine beetle? Well, then the pine beetle gets, starts getting stuck in the resin, as we can see right here is a pine beetle right here. He says what's most promising about this beetle treatment is the cost. And finally, there's something that can be applied for less than a dollar a tree mm -hmm. versus spraying with toxic pesticides, which mm -hmm. cost you as much as $19 a tree, or cutting down the tree if it's dead for $300. Now this Colorado company is filling orders to sell at nurseries for homeowners trying to protect their trees from the bugs that have killed so many trees across the state. AgriHouse is based in Berthet, and the company's president says that the shells from the lobster and shrimp and crab used to make this liquid actually come from Iceland, he says, because there they have very little mercury contamination and they have these big fish packing operations with lots of leftover shells to, it turns out, help fight pine beetles right here in Colorado. Jim? Mike, just remarkable. Someone thought of putting those two together, isn't it? I know. How'd you figure that out? Okay. But it works, apparently. All right. Thanks to them.